Hello guys, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. We are continuing on with um, the series for the girls' bedrooms from the Disney comic book series Witch. Now, I am absolutely in love with these comic books. I was when I was younger and I kind of still am. Um, today we are building Cornelia's room. Cornelia is my absolute favorite from all of the girls and her room is again my absolute favorite. I just really like her room and the design of it and I do like how it turned out in The Sims. She has, she lives in a penthouse if I'm not um, mistaken, she lives, or at least a very high apartment building. She uh, has a big terrace which is filled with plants and I managed to recreate that and I, by deleting this wall you can actually download the room with the terrace which I think was a nice detail and um yeah so here you see me kind of uh, <laughs> struggle around with the terrace before i start uh, moving on to furnishing the inside now cornelia's room is kind of um how should i put this delicately let's just call it a bit snobby yeah, I'm gonna go with Snobby. So she's uh, richer than the rest of the girls. She definitely has a very um, grown-up, mature, kind of elegant and womanly sense of style. And her room is exactly that as well. She has a very glossy flooring. It's um, it's kind of it's almost mirrory. It's very reflective, and it kind of reminds me of of uh, an ice ring now why it reminds me of an ice ring she's also cornelia is an ice skater she is a very good ice skater she uh, ice skating is her passion and uh, she has awards all over her room um, that reflect all her uh, tournaments and all uh, you know all that she has won she has medals and uh, golden cups and everything she is practically really really good so you do see me try to put as much trophies as I possibly can later on in this video. For now we are struggling with the kind of um, shelves that she has right behind her bed. I was initially going to use just a single bed but I end up using a double bed just because her bed is probably the biggest from all of the girls and she also has this kind of Victorian style to her room which looks very polished and rich. Uh, now I am going, uh, I am building all of these rooms uh, in coordination with a, uh, with pictures that they have in the comic books. Now I don't see all of the angles of the room. So this, uh, for this particular room, I don't see like probably well, one angle of it. There is an architectural sketch above uh, which tells me that on the side that I cannot see, there's another bed and another closet. So that is something that you're going to see me put in, even though you might not have seen it in uh, if you've read the comics or if you're checking out pictures online. It's something that you might not see, but it is in the architectural sketch above. So that's why I incorporated it and I think it kind of tied the room together and it didn't leave any spaces unfilled and empty so something else that i was happy with in her room were the lamps <laughs> the lamps that i chose and the lamps that turned out to be exactly what she has in her room now cornelia she's uh, she has the powers over the element earth and she loves plants all sorts of plants all kinds of plants and flowers but surprisingly enough, she doesn't have many plants in her room. Like the other girls, even Tarani has a lot more cacti in her room than Cornelia has any other kinds of plants. But I did end up putting in some pots uh, on her terrace, on her balcony, that I created. That You can download the whole room with it because I deleted a wall. And when you place it, you do remember to put in that wall. Otherwise, you know, you're... Well, Nothing is going to happen, but your lighting is going to be kind of weird. And I, I realized that when I went in to take some screenshots. So be sure to put in that wall that is going to be missing. 
Mm, something else about her room is that she has a lot of dressers and a lot of clothes and a lot of perfumes and makeup. She does have this kind of sort of uh, vanity section right above uh, this uh, little dresser that I just put in. And she has quite a few bottles and perfumes. She loves to smell like flowers and a spring garden and stuff like that. Again, she has a lot of clothes. She is a lot richer than the rest of the girls. So that is why there are so many uh, kind of things that indicate that she is more financially... Uh, I don't even know the word for it. But she does have a lot more finances than the rest of them. She has a big desk a that's put sort of in uh, sort of to an angle right next to her bed or not next to it but on the other side of it and that is something that i kind of struggle with because i couldn't find the exact uh, desk that i could use just so it that it kind of blends in seamlessly and it doesn't um, make those glitchy things that it does when you use the move objects sheet to combine uh, objects. So it is a bit glitchy, but I think it worked out fine. We, we I don't think we used the class one that you see right now. I think we used something else. But all in all, I am really happy with how her room turned out. And I am going to... Huh, I am going to put in some trophies a little later on. And I actually really like her carpet. Like, it's something that I put at the very end of this video. But I do love how blue everything in her room is. But she has a bright red carpet with these kind of ethnic details. I really, really love that. That's just good color scheming and good color design. And yeah, I think it complemented, complemented the room very nicely. So I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments down below because I am such a big fan of Witch and I really hope that it's not as dead as it probably is and there are some people who still who still remember Witch and who still enjoy um, just kind of looking through the odd comic books or some pictures online because I still do that. Actually... Uh, getting them out all of them just so I can build these rooms uh, kind of got me a bit nostalgic and I wanted to read them all over again I did read them a couple of years back I read them all throughout you know from the first that I actually have which is issue number 10 to the last that I have uh, it was just a blast from the past I do I do acknowledge the fact that maybe from one issue to another they weren't as good as they were in the beginning, but they're just so amazing. I just, I love them. And I love the way that they're drawn. It's just Disney style drawings. So beautiful. So anyway, I'm gonna stop geeking out about this. Um, if you want to check out the rest of the builds from uh, all the other girls' bedrooms, you can do that in the links down below. I also have linked um, the Create a Sim video about the girls' characters in Sim Portion. So if you want to check that out as well, be sure to check out the description down below. And we're about to go into making the terrace and putting in some flowers there and then straight to the screenshots. So I'm gonna cut the voice over here. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I really hope you enjoy the rest. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. So bye bye.